Hi everyone and welcome back to the red carpet at the American Indian College Fund's Flame of Hope Gala. Right now I'm standing next to Tom Brooks of AT&T who has been a longtime supporter of the College Fund. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. It's a wonderful night to be here. What makes this event and the College Fund so special? Well, one, we're in my hometown of New York City, so that always makes things special. Always a good thing. Um, and it's, a, it's just a great night. We have all the board members here. We have all of our guests here. It's a great night to support the College Fund and to see if we can't raise money for a wonderful cause. Why is, the AT, why is AT&T so passionate about the College Fund's mission? Well, AT&T has a long history of dealing with educational issues. We have our uh, Aspire grants, sorry, we have $500 million that we've been spending over a five-year period in the educational field. Uh, it's been a, our chairman has always been passionate about education, and all of us are as well. So we've had a long history with the College Fund mm -hmm. and with Indian education in general. And a little birdie told me that you have a personal relationship with the College Fund, and there's a reason you're very passionate about it, and can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I grew up in a Mohawk family, um, and most people don't know, there's a place in Brooklyn where I grew up, which was an old Mohawk ghetto. It's all the iron workers, people who built buildings like this to the steel work, and that was, uh, that's my background, and uh, I grew up, most of my family went into steel work. Um, but my grandmother, who was born in our reservation back in the late 1800s, had this desire to have one of her grandchildren finally go to college. And so she had a conversation with my uncles and my fathers who, to who came and told me that I would never work in ironwork and that I should go on to school because that's what my grandmother wanted. And so because of my grandmother and because of my parents, um, they directed me to, to college rather than into ironworking. And uh, so here I am. Well, here you are. You made it. <laughs> That's a really heartwarming story. And so how do you feel about being here and seeing the impact that you're, you're making on these Native scholars? Well, I think that uh, the best thing is that I know that they're going to make an impact in the world. They're going to make an impact in Indian country and their tribal lands and throughout the country with their, with their contributions. When they get an education, they can go on and do anything they want. They can help their people, they can help the country, they can help the world, and uh, we're already seeing that. They're, they're doing that. That's really nice. So where do you see it going besides them continuing on this path? What else do you see for the future? With the College Fund? Oh, there's lots of things. The, the, the scope of the College Fund has been expanding in terms of looking at the end-to-end -end treatment of students, getting them ready to go into college, getting them into college, and then helping them with their career paths later on. So we're seeing that, that growth of it being an end-to-end -end process of helping our students, and uh, I just see that keeping on growing, and with the help of all the people out there that are going to donate tonight, right. uh, that, are gonna, that are here that are going to donate, we're going to be able to do more and more for all these students in Indian country. That's amazing, and I'm glad you mentioned donating because not only can people donate here this evening, but they can also donate online by clicking the link in this post. And stay tuned, everyone, because there's still more to see tonight.